Now I recently made my Confluence, my service desk uh, Confluence uh, page uh, slightly better than before and uh, the reason I was doing it was mainly because I was feeling a bit rusty uh, because I don't really work too much on Confluence. Uh, uh, it is uh, something that uh, I definitely uh, rely on but I don't really spend too much time uh, going through all the aspects of Confluence. But I was thinking maybe I should be I, sh I should be uh, looking at Confluence, and uh, while I'm doing these uh, things on Confluence, I thought I'll probably also share my journey. And today I, I thought I'll probably uh, talk about the, the PDF export. Now in Confluence, uh, there is a there, there is a possibility to export a page to a PDF, and it is of course quite straightforward. And by the way, I'm doing it on cloud. If you want to do it on server, of course, you can do it on server as well. But uh, on cloud, you do have some capabilities. So if you're looking at any page, let us say I want to export this page. It could be a report. It could be any any content that you have in uh, in your conference page. Usually, people want to send out reports to uh, maybe stakeholders or someone else, someone who has no access to your environment. You can always generate this PDF file. And if you want to do it, you can go to the uh, the uh, three dots. I don't know what you call this menu. I think it's called as ellipses, I guess, something like that. You click on this uh, menu and go to export. You have the option to export it to a Word file or a PDF file. So if you click on PDF file, it will generate a PDF file, which is obviously uh, <laughs> not at all complex process. But uh, when you download this PDF file, you may see or you may uh, want to f modify a few things. Uh, let us first take a look at the the PDF file. So uh, this PDF file is of course uh, uh, the dump of your uh, <clears throat> your page in a nice uh, PDF format, which is looking good. And if you if you notice here, all the links are preserved. The embedded video is of course not displayed as a video because it is a PDF. It is uh, now displayed as a link. It it will of course take you to your video uh, the the embedded content. And uh, the image will come, which is uh, great. And what I was wondering, can we can we modify this? Can we modify this particular PDF file? Because right now, it is nothing but the name of the page, or in, in this case, it is my home page under my space called Ravi. And that is it, and the content. So I was looking at few things, few configurations that I was wondering whether I can do or not. So I, I thought, let us explore together. So if you go to the administration site administration you can then see that there is some option here so there are a few things like uh, pdf export language and uh, if you click on it let us see <clears throat> so it says here uh, pdf export language support to create pdf documents in another language you have to install the font for that language okay so uh, we are not really doing it so let us uh, ignore this we are we are fine with the the uh, with the uh, english language so PDF layout. So this might be of some interest. So it says here global PDF layout, PDF space export title page, PDF space export header, PDF space export footer. So I think you can set header, footer, and maybe a title. So let us see. So Ravi Saga PDF. Come on. Title. Okay. So this is the title. And. Uh, header of the PDF, footer of the PDF, so footer of the PDF. So nothing nothing remarkable, but uh, still it can, it can be useful. So um, the thing is that it is of course a simple text. So if you save it, and I guess I'll probably then go to the PDF file and check uh, how it will look like. So there are things like view plane. Okay, it will look like this. And uh, view print. Okay, so it will now basically give you the option to... Okay, so it is basically showing you how it will look like when you... So PDF will basically have the items, uh, something in the footer and, uh, and something in the header along with the title. Right now it is nothing. And and we'll, we'll figure out how it looks like. The next thing that I was wondering if I can play with the style sheet. So if you want to have your own custom CSS, I guess this can be useful. 
let us see let us see what we can do here so if i if i click on it if i click on edit so i don't really have any option here pdf export style sheet uh can i do something here i i, I don't know how it will work to be honest um i have no idea i'll probably uh, read the documentation but i guess uh, because we, we can definitely insert some style but what tags to use here i have no idea i've never really done it before so i'll probably ignore it for the timing but i'll figure out I, i'll figure it out and i'll uh, i'll definitely make another video <clears throat> so for the time timing let us see if the if the title footer and uh, header has any effect on the pdf export or not so i'll go to the same page and i will uh, i will then try to export again <clears throat> right now for some strange reason cloud is always slow for me <laughs> uh maybe i'm using the standard version that is oh no not a standard version it's a free version i i, I might buy uh, one cloud instance i'll probably pay convert it to paid version let us see so let us try to export again pdf and uh, we'll generate the file it will take some time okay download pdf looks good so far save and uh, i will open it no there is absolutely nothing here so no 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 footer so how, how does it work i have no idea so let us uh, click on this again let us close the option let me maybe go to another page how to articles maybe i'll open one of the article and i'll try if i can modify it Oh, I mean, I can generate it again using how to make a transition using script now. So it's nothing but a page, a simple page with hopefully some content. Yeah, we do have some content. So we also have something like related articles. Let us see. Let us uh, let us try to export this one. Export PDF. Do I need to do any the any other configuration? I have no idea. So this is. Uh, this is another file that I'm trying to improve. I, I, I mean, I, I was just wondering, what is the impact it will have the the footer and the title? So this page actually looks good, although it is nothing different from the previous one. It says how to make a transition using script or no, and uh, no, nothing, nothing here. So let me just go back to the configurations again and confirm if uh, if there is anything that I need to do to to make this work because it says there very clearly if you go to the PDF uh, layout that it will have some impact. It's I mean it says there global PDF uh, layout. But there is no, there, there is no, uh, there, there is no. Uh, it is not really doing any change. Okay. So uh, maybe I want to try one more thing. Instead of generating a PDF, maybe I can try uh, printing it. I, I'm not sure whether it will work or or not. Let us try. I mean, we we are just trying here right now. So let us go back to the home page and. Uh, do we have any other option here? Okay, so we have the option to export. We have advanced details. No, we are not really doing any import right now. Let me try to print the PDF file. Okay. Mm, this is fine. I mean, it will it will basically print the page, but it is not really. Uh, going to have any custom header or footer so let me just pause the video and take a look online okay so i found this uh, documentation i mean the good thing is that uh, you know you can always search about these things documentation is quite comprehensive and detailed so it says here customize exports to pdf and it says very clearly pdf customizations are unique to each space okay pdf customizations only apply to space exports okay and pdf layout where uh, where html is used uh, is, to is, is to define the structure of the exported content including features such as title 
header footer okay so do i need to do anything with the so these are the global global configurations but i'm not really sure how it will work for for the whole maybe the these pdf uh, customizations are applicable for the whole space let us see let us see if uh, if i if we can do something here so let me go to the content tool um and uh, i will find the option to export okay and uh, i will try to export the whole space maybe in this case so pdf export next and uh, normal export custom export okay let us uh, export everything okay let us see let us see how it go how, how it goes i mean uh, i'm not also oh, it says uh, download pdf it's a big pdf file i guess which will hopefully contain each and every it will have multiple pages hopefully let us see okay so this is yeah so this is what we are talking about so here you can see it says on top pdf ravi sagar pdf title okay so we have different links and these links are fine these it's like you know having a book where you have a bookmark header and uh, do we have like uh, a footer yeah we do have a footer and uh, there is uh, okay so this is the title all right then the header and then uh, the footer okay so basically this is what uh, it will do if you customize the pdf uh, uh, global pdf settings uh, layout basically it will have effect on the space export not individual page export but we do have few other things like look and feel here and integration so what what i'll probably do is uh, um i'll i'll also play with the this further so right now let us say if you want to change let us forget about the theme but if you go to the header and footer here i think this header and footer will appear in each and every, like in across your space for each and every page it says here this content will appear above every every page then we have pdf layout so i think this pdf layout okay so that this is what it will do i think uh, um you can also have uh, themes uh, not theme but space specific uh, pdf title that uh, uh, you can use so the main thing that you need to understand or which i learned today is uh, if you change the layout of the pdf by going to the general uh, by going to the uh, configurations like jira not jira sorry why i am saying jira by going to the confluence administration and then if you go to the pdf uh, layout settings here it will be uh it will i mean the the title header and footer will be applicable for the whole space export not the individual export which is a bit which is a, which, which is uh, which is okay i think uh, i mean, i don't really want to uh, i mean it's it's probably the way it is uh, i think it, it 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 would have been great if we can have this for uh, for individual space or individual page export but i don't really see any reason why uh this won't work i think uh, if you are talking about title you anyways have for each and i mean when you export the file when you export the pdf file you anyways have the page title but uh, having some kind of a header and footer i think uh, i think even if you have it for uh, the whole space if even if if even if you can uh, configure it for individual spaces i think that is probably in my opinion enough it should be enough but i'll i'll continue playing with this and uh, i'll let you guys know so my 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 object my objective is to uh, relearn or uh, try to I'm, i'm trying to refresh my memory of confluence because it has been it has been a while i don't really spend too much time on confluence but i think i should be because the people are now using confluence uh, more than ever especially when when things are on cloud when you sign up for a cloud jira instance uh, you can easily have one linked integrated cloud confluence instance which you should be using because when you are using jira projects you have you always have the option to link it to a specific space so i'll probably and i should probably uh, spend a bit more time exploring confluence and that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned uh, something new today along with me thank you very much